today's episode, I got a big aluminum project. I'm going to be building a fuel cell for the back of the 40, so come check it out. Okay, to start this project, I'm using a 4x8 sheet of 6061 aluminum. I just want to wipe it down real quick, then get all the dimensions laid out with a marker, then cue the cut montage. Okay, this piece is going to be the base of the fuel cell and these holes are going to be where the fuel enters the sump. This is a giant baffle that's going to sit in the middle of the fuel cell to prevent the fuel from sloshing back and forth too bad under acceleration and braking. I'm just going to weld this into place. This is going to be another baffle that sits just above the sump. It's got a trap door on it so it'll allow the fuel to enter through these holes and then when you break the door will close and the fuel won't be able to escape so it should keep it directly over the sump. Right here you can see I'm starting to weld the sides of the tank in place and it gives you a good idea of how big this thing's going to be. Okay, here's both sides, the bottom and the baffles in place. This fuel cell should hold about 30 gallons when it's all said and done. Now it's time to put the top on. These are some Dash 6 AN weld on bungs that I need to put in place. One of them is going to be for the fuel return line and the other is going to be for a vent. I just need to get these welded up. Okay, right here I'm making a flange for the fuel level sending unit to sit on and to do that I'm going to cut this out of some half inch aluminum and then I'll drill and tap some holes in it to hold the sending unit in place.
Okay, here's that flange all welded up. You can see that the fuel level sending unit is going to bolt right to the top of this and that should seal it up nice and tight. So now it's on to the next part. Okay, right here I'm welding the back of the fuel cell into place. That piece of two inch tube is going to be the filler neck for the fuel cell which will attach to the fuel cap once I build the bed. All right, here's the back of the fuel cell all welded up. It's really starting to look like something now. Now it's time to start building the sump, which is gonna to attach to the bottom of the fuel cell. This is where the sump's going to sit on the bottom of the cell. I welded another dash six fitting on there and that's going to be where the feed line for the fuel attaches. I just need to weld this into place. All right, here's the completed sump setup. It should work really good at preventing air from getting into the fuel lines, which is not a good thing on a diesel engine. So now it's time to move on to the next part. Okay, in order to install the fuel cell, I need to remove this temporary cross member in order to make way for the new one that's gonna hold the backside of the fuel cell. This is the new cross member that's going to cap the ends of the frame rail as well as have a space for the fuel cell and the filler neck to bolt to. So I'm just going to weld this thing into place. All right, here's the first test fit. It looks like it's gonna be a tight fit. Not sure why I made it so tight, but it fits nonetheless, and that's what it's gonna look like sitting in the frame rails.
All right, this is the piece I'm gonna to use to hold the fuel cell in place on the front half. It's just a piece of inch and a half angle that I'm going to weld to the fuel cell and then I'll drill and tap the cross member to hold some bolts. All right, one last test fit and it's ready to bolt this thing into place. Okay, there's a completed fuel cell. This is how it bolts into place, and you can see the return line and the vent tube attachment points. There's the fuel level sending unit bolted into place, as well as the filler neck tube, and also the sump for where the fuel is gonna come out. All right, that's gonna be it for this one. I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably wondering why I didn't just buy a fuel cell. Well, the reason I didn't buy a fuel cell is because they don't make one that fits exactly the way I want it to in the frame rails. And plus, I'm trying to build a truck. I'm not trying to buy a truck. So anything that I can build by myself, I'd rather do that than buy the part. Plus, it's less expensive to build it than it would be to buy one. And I got a fuel cell that meets all the requirements that I was looking for and then some. So that's going to be it for this one. As usual, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.